Hey guys, just you know, welcome back to uh, another LBA battle. Uh, this is a battle against uh, Ryan, aka R Hunter, and owner of the New York Gengars. And I'm not gonna waste any time this week with any jibber jabber. Uh, I'm just gonna jump straight into team preview. So looking at his team, it's actually pretty threatening. He has stuff like Bray Loom, which uh, would be which is kind of troubling because it forces me to keep my Weezing pretty healthy, or uh, to keep Clefable relatively healthy. Um, so. He has a Breloom, Don Fan, um, Tyranitar, Suicune, which I'm facing again this year, which is kind of lame, because that thing's kind of hard to face sometimes. And then uh, we have Heliolisk, which is a cool mod, because nothing really switches into it on my team. Um, pretty much everything is too KO'd by the appropriate coverage move, so if he predicts well, that can be a problem. And then he also has the regular Sableye, so... Oh, it's Mega Tyranitar, by the way. Regular Sableye. Anyway, we're jumping straight into it. Um, I'm bringing... Uh, the mods that I usually bring, um, bar wheezing. So I'm just gonna lead straight away with Gothitelle because I kind of felt like he would lead with uh, something like Breloom and trapping that turn one would be very, very nice because as I said, it is a pretty big threat to my team. Anyway, he ends up leading with Sableye and taunts my Clefable at the uh, at turn one, which is a little troubling because I am actually a calm mindset, but right here I lose nothing by firing off a Moonblast. There is literally no reason for me not to. Um, I do end up getting a crit, which is a little unfortunate, although I'm not quite sure how much it actually mattered. Um, he is AV, but I do have Weezing as a 100% safe switch in. So uh, what Weezing can do right here is just fire off a Will-O-Wisp, get a burn on something, and get some residual damage going, which is super nice for me, um, especially to this Heliolisk because it is a big problem to my team. Um, right here, I am going to make the play of staying in right here because I didn't want to get donked by a Surf as we see that he is more than likely Scarf Heliolisk, judging off that damage. Um, and he goes into his Suicune right here, which is kind of a problem because I went for the Flamethrower. Sludge Bomb was probably my better play um, because, you know, like I, I was thinking, oh yeah, what if he like stays in a T-Bolts and he's like dry skin or whatever. But, you know, that was not the case. He ends up going for the Scald right here, uh, which is kind of a problem uh, because he crits me. But I end up getting a Pain split off, which is very nice. So it kind of works out in my favor um, because I'm getting a lot of good chip damage on this Suicune. And basically, I want to force it to rest as soon as possible because uh, the sooner I get Thunderous inside, the better. He ends up going for a Scald right here, just an another one. And uh, surprisingly, I don't get burned, which is pretty sick. And I just go for the Clear Smog, which is super nice because uh, I can limit this Suicune. And I can pretty much just play it to a draw in, in like some sense because he can't get a ton of CMs up on me. I'm not set up fodder, which is great. I'm just going to go for the Wisp right here and miss my attack, which is a little unfortunate. And I believe I will go for the Clear Smog on this turn to prevent him from setting up a CM. Um, but he just ends up going for a Scald. Good play by him. Takes the early, very, very early... Um, 5-6 lead. So right here, I do have a Thunderous, which can threaten him out pretty much no matter what. So I'm just going to go into that because, um, you know, Thunderous is a great mon. Uh, very, very versatile. Hits a lot of things. He goes into his Tyranitar right here. Um, and I believe I just fire off a T-Bolt. No, I end up going for a Grass Knot because, you know, better play because I've brought Grass Knot this week. And I am Life Orb. And because of the Life Orb, I will be able to 2-it KO him. He can't be Scarf because he is Mega. And Tyranitar hits that way room when he Mega Evolves. This dude gets so heavy. He is going down to a Grass Knot right here. So um, I'm able to quickly retaliate, take out uh, Tyranitar, which could be a pretty big threat if he does get a Dragon Dance up, considering I have lost my Weezing. Uh, but it ends up working out. But I am taking a lot of residual damage. 16% per turn due to Life Orb and um, Life Orb and Sandstorm. So I'm going to go into Dig Dug right here, which is uh, the Excadrillus. He goes for the Hyper Voice, and uh, that is not doing a lot at all. And I am actually a uh, Choice Scarf Sand Force this week, which is pretty threatening to his team because uh, things will die to this. And uh, it's not going to work out for him. He does end up outspeeding me because he is Scarf, but... Uh, all that means is he gets off another like 30-ish percent chip damage. It's looking like a 4 KO. He gets it into his goblin right here. And right here, I don't really have anything else that wants to take a Will-O-Wisp. Um, so he knocks off and uh, just ends up getting a crit, which is a little unfortunate because I could have pressured him uh, and basically knocked out his Sableye at the end of the turn. But, you know, um, it's no big deal because what basically happens here is I get to go into Clef. And uh, the only thing on his team that can really stop my Clefable is his uh, Breloom, and that's if it sleeps me. But right now, I have one CM up, and uh, nothing 
really on his team can stop Clefable at this point. So your boy Clefable is about to put in a lot of work, which is super nice. Uh, he just ends up going for the taunt right here, which is no big deal. I do go straight away for the Moonblast, just because I do want to get rid of the Sableye as soon as possible. Opens up a lot of leeway for Gyarados if, in case this whole Clefable plan uh, falls on its face. He goes into his Don fan right here, um, and I'm just pretty safe firing off a plus one Moonblast. Uh, I will be able to knock him out with one more Moonblast, and this Earthquake, as you guys can see, is not doing anything to Clefable straight chewed did like 72 damage after leftovers recovery so ends up working out for me i just end up knocking out don fan with another moon blast so clefable has taken two lives so far in this game and uh, believe believe me when i say that it shall take many more uh, right here he goes into his brayloon which is kind of a threat but he ends up going for the bullet seed probably predicting me to switch out into something for sleep fodder uh he ends up getting two hits as i go for the moon blast so a little bit of a, an unfortunate roll for him right there but it's not that big of a deal um like is it like if he had gotten five hits then Clefable probably would not have won me the game but uh spoilers <laughs> anyway uh, so he ends up going for the spore right here so I just burn a sleep turn which is fine um because I know he will need uh either five hits and then two hits or uh, three hits and three hits in order to knock me out never mind I was like totally reading that wrong he ends up getting four hits and uh Clefable ends up going down so um, go play by him to sleep that, but it's not that, it's not that much of an issue, because I can just go into Thunderclap right here, and at this point his team is looking pretty weakened thanks to Clefable picking up two kills and basically maiming Breloom, uh, so, Thunderous with a kill, um, Clefable with two kills, and, uh, looking like Thunderous is picking up another kill right here because he just goes out into a Suicune that ends up going down Excadrill also got a kill so that is gonna wrap this game up I believe yeah uh, I end up picking up a, a pretty a win pretty handily right there uh, because the only mons that I lost uh, were Fable and Weezing which is super helpful for me because it helps me a lot with differential later on down the line so we end up getting another win um, but this will be like one of two LBA battles up today because you know, I got a lot of recording to do today. I may as well get both of them up. So, um, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, what is one album you can listen to from start to finish? Just straight through. Because, um, like, I, I'm looking to branch out more musically just because, you know, it's fun to just chill and just listen to one album all the way through sometimes. Um, and, you know, when I'm mowing the lawn and stuff. That's, that's kind of the stuff I need to listen to. Anyway, uh, yeah, just drop those responses in the comments section below. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.